everyone is familiar with the Stegosaurus. It's one of the main dinosaur archetypes. Despite this place among Tyrannosaurus, Brontosaurus, and the like, Stegosaurus is known mostly from rather incomplete skeletons, making each and every skeleton on display, despite one exception, composites made from stitching together the known bones of many different skeletons. Stegosaurus isn't the only stegosaur like this. Most stegosaurs are rather fragmentary and leave a lot of mystery as to how they diverge from the overly armored ankylosaurs in the Jurassic period. Most primitive stegosaurs come from rocks in Europe and Asia. A new one was described in 2022 by an international team of Chinese and British scientists. All the way back in 2016, a new dinosaur quarry was discovered in Middle Jurassic aged rocks that are part of the Shaximiao formation of Chongqing, China. This quarry was opened up within the Zhaigong Dinosaur Museum which is essentially a bigger, better equivalent to the US's Dinosaur National Monument Dinosaur Quarry Site. According to the museum, which was established in 1987 over top a huge concentration of a diverse dinosaur assemblage, they have the largest number of dinosaur fossils in one area in the world. The museum covers 25,000 square meters with a display area of 3,600 square meters. The new quarry revealed the bones of unknown stegosaurs in what is called the Dinosaur Fossil Wall, roughly similar to the Dinosaur National Monument's fossil wall. It was excavated systematically to form a wall of dinosaur fossils 150 meters long by 8 meters tall. This site might actually be more scientifically important as it dates to the Middle Jurassic Epoch. As such, it preserves animals that gave rise to the biggest animals to ever walk the Earth in the late Jurassic. Multiple stegosaur fossils were uncovered in the wall and described by the international team in March of 2022. That team including Dai Wei, Li Ning, Susanna Maidment, Wei Guangbiao, Zhao Yuxuan, Hu Zhufeng, Ma Qingyu, Wang Zhunqian, Wu Aichan, and Peng Guangzhao. My Anglo-Western tongue has just been murdered. Material from one stegosaur type was enough to provide the necessary characteristics to separate it from known stegosaurs, while the other specimens were too fragmentary. The better stegosaur consisted of three individuals. One is a single back vertebra, two tail vertebrae, the right shoulder blade and coracoid, the left femur, tibia, and fibula, a metatarsal, some ribs, and some armor. The other was five back verts, a right tibia and fibula, a piece of armor and some ribs. And the third was a single back vertebra. That's not enough to get a clear image of exactly what the beast looked like, but considering there are some known relatives with more complete remains that are not horribly distant in time or geography, some general idea can be inferred. The team named the remains of the more complete stegosaur, Bashanosaurus primitivus, Bashan is the ancient name of Chongqing, the municipality where the work was done and the bones were found, and the species name Primitivis refers to the stegosaur's primitive place on its family tree. The team found that the bones of Bashanosaurus show the most similarity to the late Jurassic Chinese Chongqingosaurus, also from the Shaximiao formation. Several of its features are reminiscent of the much earlier European Thyreophoran Scalidosaurus which contains characteristics of both stegosaurs and ankylosaurs. Bashanosaurus differs in containing much more advanced stegosaurian features like tall, plate-like armor along the back, tall vertebrae, and slim limbs. This makes Bashanosaurus an early offshoot that continued to survive alongside more advanced stegosaurs, like the contemporary Huayangosaurus. This all makes Bashanosaurus, along with Chongqingosaurus and the more distantly related Huayangosaurus, the earliest diverging true stegosaurs. The exact layer from which the Bashanosaurus remains were uncovered are made up of purplish red, muddy siltstone and silty mudstone. Interbedded with siltstone and mudstone, all that means a lot of fine sediments laid down in a low elevation plain, most likely a floodplain. The siltstones contain calcareous nodules, which, when combined with the reddish layers, suggest the environment was semi-arid, with occasional monsoons that swept over the lands and rivers, 
providing a much needed environment for fossilization. Based on what little armor was found, Bashanosaurus may not have differed much from other early stegosaurs in brandishing a series of pointed plates along the back that transitioned into pointier spines at the back and tail before concluding in a massive and deadly thagomizer. I'm sure more Bashanosaurus remains are buried somewhere in the dinosaur wall underneath the museum, so I wouldn't be shocked if we hear more about these early stegosaurs in due time. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, hit the bell icon for updates, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks goes to my elephant tier patrons, Thea Svensson, Staniforth Hopkins, Dinosaur, Chris Frampton, Biotaverse, Arda Bayer, and Christoph Hubbinger, as well as my Tyrannosaur patrons, Iron Bladesman, Henry Brennan, Danny Van Heck, and Dana Manchester.